Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what is your person not telling you? What does your person not tell you? In other words, what, what secrets are they keeping from you? Okay, so that's going to be the reading. Let's just go ahead and get started. Um, if you end up enjoying the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'd appreciate that too. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to pick three cards here. All right, Spirit, what, what does this person not tell Scorpio? What does this person not tell Scorpio? Whoever it is that Scorpio is connecting to in love, whoever it is that they're dealing with in love. What does this person not tell Scorpio? Scorpio first card we have here is the Knight of Cups Knight of Cups okay what else the page of cups one more card please The Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. All right, Scorpio, so I'm going to be clarifying these cards one by one, but just looking at the energy um, superficially here, um, what does this person not tell you? I feel like this person, Scorpio, is not telling you how badly they want to be with you, you know, how strongly they feel for you. With the knight of cups and the page of cups it's like this person has very deep and strong emotions for you okay um they feel a deep attachment to you a deep connection to you and they secretly are they might be secretly waiting for you to make some sort of um m move towards them to make some sort of gesture or to 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 send them some sort of message that lets them know that you feel the same way. I feel like this person is hoping that you feel the same way, um, that you feel as strongly as they, as they do. That you feel for them as strongly as they do for you, okay? And the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this person is wanting something serious here. They want something committed and stable and long-term, okay? All right, so let's just go ahead and clarify these cards one by one. Let's start with the Knight of Cups. Spirit, tell me more about this Knight of Cups, please. Give me some more information. We have here the Five of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. So Scorpio, I feel like this person has been heartbroken before with the Five of Cups. They've been, yeah, they've been disappointed and heartbroken before in love. Um, and it's taken them some time to heal. It's taken them some time to recover. But I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this person is um, ready. I feel like they're open and they are available and they're interested in, um, you know, in starting a new journey and starting a new, a new beginning here. Yeah. But I do feel, like I said, I feel like it's something that did take them a lot, a lot of time here with the King of Wands. It's 
it's like uh, they they lost a part of themselves here in whatever it is that they went through it's like they they lost their ident their sense of identity they lost their confidence in in love and now it's like they're starting to regain that confidence again okay and like i said in terms of you with the knight of cups they're very interested in you here and they feel very strongly for you okay let's move on let's clarify now the page of cups okay page of cups spirit please clarify the page of cups give me some more information And we have here the chariot, the lovers, geez, and the hierophant. Boy, this Scorpio, I definitely feel like this person is very much in love with you here because we also have here the lovers, which is a card of feeling a deep spiritual connection to someone, a deep karmic connection. Um, this person might see you as their soulmate or their twin flame. With the chariot card, I feel like this person wants to go places with you, like they wanna they wanna have fun with you, like they wanna go on a on an adventure with you. This is a card of traveling, and I always see the chariot as you know a card that it's it's about traveling, but it doesn't really have like a specific destination, you know. It's just about moving forward, not not to a particular place or destination. So I feel like this person just wants to move forward with you, you know, and they want to, um, like I said, they want to go out with you and travel with you and um, go places with you and have like have experiences with you, you know. And with the Hierophant, this is all about marriage. It's all about commitments. So I feel like this is what's on this person's mind. They're thinking about commitments and possibly marriage also. And with the Page of Cups, um, I feel like this person is waiting for you to make them an offer, okay? Waiting for you to, to send them a message of love. Or they could also be planning to send you a message of love and offer you, um, make you an offer of love. But I almost feel like they're waiting for you, okay? All right, so let's see the Queen of Pentacles now. Let's clarify this card. Spirit, give me some more information about the Queen of Pentacles. Thank you. this the five of pentacles just flipped up all right give me two more cards spirit thank you we also have the seven of pentacles okay what else and we have the judgment card all right, so here we have all pentacles, right? Let me just... We have the queen of pentacles, we have five of pentacles, seven of pentacles, and the judgment card. <clears throat> okay, so I do feel like this person has some insecurities here. This is where their fears are popping up, right? Um, with the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, is this going to be something successful? 
I feel like that's what they're thinking, what they're questioning here. Or what they're second guessing, you know. Um, like I said, they've had some bad experiences in the past here with the Five of Cups, disappointments and heartbreaks. Um, people that have made them false promises. So I do feel like this person is questioning whether is this real or is this just a dream or is this just a fantasy, you know? Um, because like I said, I feel like this person does want something serious and committed and stable. Um, I don't feel like this person is looking, you know, for games. Like they're not interested in playing games or they're not interested in hookups or flings, you know, just temporary flings. They want something that is sustainable. You know, that that can provide, you know, real security. So with the five and the seven, it's like they're trying to decide with the judgment card. I think they're trying to decide whether you, um, whether you have proven yourself to them, you know, because I feel like they're, tr they're, they're trying to see whether you are serious about them, you know. It's like, and they're trying to listen to their intuition, I feel. Queen of Pentacles, she's very intuitive. Oh, she or he, this is a very intuitive person. So it's like, does this, does this feel like it has the possibility of being something long term? Yeah, so there, Seven of Pentacles is about putting work, you know, putting work, putting time and energy into a relationship. Um, and the Five of Pentacles, it's like, it's not always going to be easy, you know, there's going to be a lot of challenges. So it's about having the, you know, the loyalty and the dedication towards, towards a person and towards a relationship that can make this successful, okay, even through the challenges. So I feel like this person is thinking about all of that, okay? And with the judgment, it's like they're trying to decide whether they feel like you would be um, someone who can stand, uh, stand up to the challenges and persevere in this relationship. So it's like they're feeling you out, you know? All right, um, that's everything I see here, Scorpio. So let me know if this resonated. And if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Hi, Scorpio.